வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு கான்வர்சேஷனல் டேமில் லெசன் சிக்ஸ் ப்ரொனன்சியேஷன் ஐ நோ இட்ஸ் பின் அ வாயல் சென்ஸ் ஐ அப்லோடட் மை லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ அண்ட் ஐ அப்பாலஜைஸ் ஐ பின் பிஸி வித் ஒர்க் அண்ட் ட்ராவல் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ பின் சிக் ஐ ஹேட் அ வெரி பேட் த்ரூட் இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் ஸோ மை வாய்ஸ் வாஸ் வெரி பேட் அண்ட் இட் டுக் மோர் தென் அ மந்த் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் டு ரிகவர் ஃப்ரம் தேட் அண்ட் ஸோ uh i'm back finally and this is my first video in the new year so happy new year and happy pongal to everyone um belated i should say <laughs> but anyway let's uh, go ahead and start off with lesson 6 um, which is pronunciation and uh, uh i'd like to point out that uh, this lesson is very important because um it's ultimately in the pronunciation that you can speak proper tamil so here we go let's take an example and i observe that uh, many people mispronounce this uh, word so let's take an example here let's say you want to say i am studying uh, you can say naan padikiren naan padikiren not padikire so whenever you say uh, that for example yourself you're trying to refer yourself and say that you are doing something it usually ends with that na sound padikiren you can see that it ends with an n there okay uh but some people pronounce it as padikire so that is totally different meaning that has a totally different meaning in fact if you take the next example let's say you want to say you are studying uh you can say informally let's say you're just you know mentioning uh that your younger brother or sister is studying you say ni padikire so there is no na sound at the end of it it's just uh i mean i'm of course representing this in english but it's r e y you can say whereas the previous case it's r e n so that n sound is very important when you're um referring to yourself uh but of course if you want to say you are studying and uh, let's say to an older person then you can say ninga padichittu irukinga okay so that would be the formal way of saying uh you are studying uh now we go to the special sounds uh, now this is a challenge anyone who can uh pronounce these uh, sounds especially the very first one i can bet you they can learn tamil <laughs> so this is the real challenge and actually this sound it is pronounced as uh, ra whatever you see there z h a uh, that is a special sound that is found in tamil actually i see even uh, malayalam the other other south indian language has this sound um but it is again pronounced as ra so a few words that have the sound are well the actual uh, language itself tamir it's actually pronounced as tamir okay it ends with that ra sound um another word is param okay and param basically means fruit and uh, another example is varai varai generally refers to the banana so if you can say varai param you know you can really uh, learn to speak tamil so anyway i i also see that you know many people really don't get this sound and they instead uh, substitute the ra sound for la the la sound the l sound so they instead say tamil or palam or valai you know um, i mean it's okay you can live with that but the correct way of pronouncing it is tamir um another uh word is the nya sound nya actually i mean i'm writing it down here with a g although the g is actually silent i mean some people say gnanam so you start off with the g but it's almost silent so you say gnanam okay which is knowledge um also in um of course we're not learning the tamil script here we're not learning how to uh, read or write tamil i'm just using english to denote some of these sounds so if you actually look at the script in tamil there is a letter which can be pronounced as ka or ga sometimes it's substituted and it really depends on the circumstance and another letter the same letter basically uh can be pronounced as sa or cha similarly pa and ba have the same letter so it really depends on which kind of sentence and which kind of um, uh scenario it is you're using to choose which one it is so it takes a while to get the hang of this but we'll go a few examples here so ga and ka 
So kai, for example, is a vegetable. Generally, it refers to a vegetable or anything that's not yet ripe. So, for example, if you take uh, coconut, um, you can pronounce this as uh, tengai or tenga. So ka and ga. Okay. And another common Tamil name is Venkat, but it can also be pronounced as Vengat. Um, and you will actually see that, uh, you know, there are other South Indian uh, uh, people other than Tamil who have names like Venkat, for example, uh, Telugu. So, but you will never see a, a person who is a Telugite who has a name Vengat, right? Um, but generally, if you see a person with a name Vengat, you know he's Tamil because... Uh, they have substituted that ka sound for a ga. Uh, but that's a simple example. Another one is sa and cha. Okay, the same letter denotes the sound sa as well as cha in Tamil. So an example is uh, the word say or the word tell. You can uh, pronounce that in Tamil as sol or chol. Okay, uh, solanga means, you know, tell me. Uh, cholanga also means, you know, tell me. But you can again substitute the sa or the cha and different parts of Tamil Nadu they use different uh, sounds you know some people say sol, some people say chol um, and similarly ba and pa are uh, can also be uh, interchanged and I really don't think there are many occasions when this has to be done but um, I hope this lesson gives you an idea of the subtleties in pronunciation um, and uh, we learn some more interesting, uh, more fun things uh, in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Nandri Vanakkam.